Hello everyone, this is Alvin from Shining 3D. With the development of manufacturing, the requirements of quality inspection of parts are also increasing. Traditional inspection methods such as CMM and vernier caliper cannot obtain the complete data of parts with complex structures efficiently. In the face of inspection of easily deformed objects, they are also powerless. Our handheld 3D scanner has greatly alleviated these pain points. In today's video, we will learn about basic knowledge about using our 3D scanner FreeScan UE Pro and Geomagic Control X to inspect this product. First of all, we need to obtain the 3D data of this project using UE Pro. Since we want full data, we need to apply markers on each side in order to transfer from one side to the other during scanning. After a brief scanning, we can create a cutting plane so that the scanner will not get data under the plane. Makes the scan data cleaner. We use cross line to obtain most of the data. Using the connected domain function to delete some floating point data very fast. Then we flip the object to scan the back side. Same as before, adding a cutting plane to avoid unnecessary data. For these holes, using single line to scan them. After generating point cloud and meshing, output the STL file. After that, we will use Control X to compare the product data, which we just scanned, and the CAD file. Before we get started, import the CAD file and scan data to Control X. You can directly drag them or click Import and select the file. You will see the CAD file is in the reference data, and the scan data is in the measured data. We start with initial alignment, apply with default parameter. Then click Best Fit Alignment also using default parameter and apply. Next, we can start inspection using 3D Compare. Set the max deviation as an appropriate value and click next step to set your specific tolerance. Here we use 0.02 mm and click the check mark. The chromatogram will show on the object and the annotation on the right. The darker the color, the greater the deviation between the scanned data and the CAD file. Since this object is not exactly the same with its CAD file, you will see some red areas with high deviation. If you want to know the exact deviation of a certain point, use the comparison point tool and click on the object. The deviation value will show. Also, you can do some quick measuring on the dimension function. For example, simply choosing two planes to measure the angle using angular dimension. And click on circle or sphere to measure the radius by using radial dimension. Checking flatness and circularity is also really convenient using corresponding tool and click on plane or circle. At last, Control X can generate inspection report automatically by just clicking Generate Report. These are some basic skills of using Geometric Control X. If you want to learn more, we will provide more specific tutorial in the future. Thanks for watching.